North Sulawesi, Indonesian, Sulawesi Utara, is a province of Indonesia. It is located on the northern peninsula of the island of Sulawesi, on the Minahasa Peninsula, lies south of Philippines and southeast of Malaysia. It borders Philippines to the north, the Maluku Sea to the east, Gorontalo to the west and the Gulf of Tomini to the south. The province's capital and largest city is Manado, and its population was 4,135,526 according to the 2010 census. The latest official estimate for January 2014 is 4,353,540. Manado is also the main gateway and the economic center of the province. Other major towns include Tomohan and Biting. There are 41 mountains with an altitude ranging from 1,112 to 1,995 meters (3,648 to 6,545 feet). Most geologic conditions are the Young Volcanic Region, a large number of eruptions, and the active cone shape of the active volcanoes that adorn the central Minahasa, Bolang Mongandao, and Sanji Islands. North Sulawesi in the past was an area of potential spices, rice and gold which became a battleground for the interests of economic hegemony between the Portuguese, Spanish, Dutch and the kingdoms around this area, which ultimately led to political and military struggles. The past of this region also became the trading route between West and East and the spread of Christianity, Islam and belief or religion brought by Chinese merchants. The Portuguese first landed on the area at the 16th century. Following decades of war between the Portuguese, the Spanish and the Dutch to control the area, the area ultimately fell to the Dutch at the 17th century. The Dutch ruled the area for three centuries, before being ousted by the Japanese on the eve of World War II. Following the Japanese surrender in 1945, the Dutch briefly regained possession of the area, before finally leaving for good in 1949, following the Round Table Conference, in which the Dutch recognized the newly created United States of Indonesia, RIS. Thus, North Sulawesi was incorporated into the territory of the state of East Indonesia, NIT. Because it was not in accordance with the will of the people, NIT was finally dissolved and then merged into the Republic of Indonesia. On 17 August 1950, the RIS was officially disbanded and then reformed as the unitary state of the Republic of Indonesia. The island of Sulawesi was governed briefly as a single province, before being separated into several different provinces. Thus, the province of North Sulawesi was created on 14 August 1959. Etymology The area in what is now known as North Sulawesi is used to be called Minahasa. The name is still used sometime to refer to the province. The word Minahasa is etymologically derived from the words Mina Esa Minesa, or Mesa which means being one or uniting, meaning hope to unite various sub-ethnic groups of Minahasa consisting of Tontombone, Tombalu, Tonsi, Tolar, Tondano, Tonsawing, Ponasakan, Pasan, and Bantic. The word Minahasa itself was only used during the colonial Ada. Minahasa is generally interpreted as having become one. Based on several historical documents, the word Minahasa, it firstly used by J. D. Shearstein, the Dutch regent of Manado, in his report to the governor of Maluku on 8 October 1789. The word Minahasa in his report is defined as Landrod or State Council or Regional Council. History Pre-colonial era Archaeological research has revealed signs of human life in North Sulawesi since 30,000 years ago, based on evidence in the cave Liang Seru on the island of Salibabu. Other evidence shows life about 6,000 years ago on the Paso hillside site in Kaka's subdistrict and 4,000 years ago to early AD at the Liang Tuo Mane cave in Arangka on Karakeling Island. Colonial period At the end of the 16th century, Portuguese and Spanish arrived in North Sulawesi. As Europeans arrived, the Ternate Sultanate had an influence in North Sulawesi, frequented by Bugis traders from South Sulawesi. The wealth of Minahasa's natural resources makes Manado a strategic port for European traders going to and from Maluku. 
The Portuguese nation was the first western nation to arrive in North Sulawesi, a Portuguese ship anchored on the island of Manado in the Kingdom of Manado in 1521. The Spanish ship docked on the island of Talad and Siao, onto Ternate. The Portuguese built the fort at Amuring. Spain built the fort in Manado, since then Minahasa started in control of Spain. The resistance against the Spanish occupation culminated in 1660-1664. The Dutch ship landed in Manado City in 1660 in assisting the struggle of the Minahasa Confederation against Spain. The United Nations Republican Association of Members of the Minahasa Confederation entered into a trade agreement with the VOC. This trade cooperation agreement then made the VOC monopolize the trade, which gradually began to impose its will, eventually leading to the 1700s resistance in Rattahan which culminated in the Dutch Minahasa War in 1809-1811 at Tondano. The Spanish had colonized the Philippine Islands at the time and Minahasa was made a coffee plantation imported from South America because of its fertile Minahasa land. Manado was further developed by Spain to become a center of coffee trade for Chinese merchants. With the help of Minahasan tribes who became allies, Spain captured the Portuguese fort at Amuring in the 1550s, and the Spanish colonists then built the fort in Manado, so that eventually Spain controlled all Minahasa. In the 16th century one of the first Indo-Eurasian communities in the archipelago appeared in Manado. The first king of Manado, Muntu Untu, 1630, is actually a half-Spanish ancestry. Spain then handed over Minahasa to the Portuguese in exchange for 350,000 ducats in a treaty. The rulers of Minahasa sent Supat, Paat, and Lanta to ally with the Dutch to expel the Portuguese from Minahasa. In 1655 they finally excelled, built their own fortress in 1658 and drove out the last Portuguese a few years later. By the beginning of the 17th century the Dutch had overthrown the Sultanate of Ternate, and began to close the influence of Spain and Portugal in the archipelago. In 1677 the Dutch conquered the Sangar archipelago and, two years later, Robert Patbruge, the governor of Maluku, visited Manado. His arrival resulted in an agreement with the Minahasan chiefs who led to Dutch domination for the next 300 years although the direct rule by the Dutch only began in 1870. The Dutch helped unify the Minahasa Confederation, and in 1693 the Mananians obtained an absolute military victory against the Mongandao tribe in the south. Dutch influence flourished with the development of Christianity and European culture in the land of Minahasa. The missionary schools in Manado in 1881 were one of the first attempts of mass education in Indonesia, providing an opportunity for graduates to find employment as civil servants, army, and other high positions in the Dutch East Indies government. Minahasa relations with the Dutch are often poor. There was a war between the Dutch and Tondano in 1807 and 1809, and the Minahasa territory was not under Dutch direct rule until 1870. But eventually the Dutch and Minahasa became very close to Minahasa often referred to as the 12th Dutch province. Even in 1947, Manado formed the political movement of Twipro, short for 12th de Profinki, 12th province, who appealed for formal integration of Minahasa into the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Independence the Japanese occupation of 1942-45 was a period of deprivation, and the Allied forces bombed Minato greatly in 1945. During the period of independence thereafter, there was a split between pro-Indonesian and pro-Dutch Minahasa. The appointment of Sam Rachelangi as the first East Indonesia governor then succeeded in winning Minahasa support to the Republic of Indonesia. After Indonesian independence, Indonesia is divided into eight provinces, and Sulawesi is one of these provinces. Sulawesi's first governor was S.G.J. Rachelangi, also known as a national hero. In 1948 in Sulawesi was formed the state of East Indonesia, which later became one of the states within the United States of Indonesia. The state of East Indonesia was dissolved, and merged into the Republic of Indonesia. Based on law number 13 year 1964, formed North Sulawesi Province, 14 August 1959 was designated as the anniversary of the province. In March 1957, North and South Sulawesi military leaders held a confrontation with Java, with demands for greater regional autonomy. They called for more active development, a fairer distribution of taxes, assistance against Kehar Muzakar. 
Sulawesi's rebellion in South Sulawesi, and a central government cabinet headed by Sukarno and Hatta in balance. At first the movement of the Permesta, Charter of the Struggle of the Universe was merely a movement of reform rather than a separatist movement. Negotiations between the central government and Sulawesi military leaders prevented violence in South Sulawesi, but Minahasan leaders were not satisfied with the outcome of the agreement and the movement broke out. Fearful of southern dominance, Minahasan leaders declared their own North Sulawesi Autonomous State in June 1957. At that time the central government had controlled South Sulawesi, but in the north there were no strong figures of the central government and there were rumors that the United States was armed with rebellion in Sumatra North, also has links with Minahasan leaders. The possibility of foreign intervention prompted the central government to request military assistance from southern Sulawesi. The Permesta forces were later removed from central Sulawesi, Gorontalo, Sangar, and Morotai in Maluku. Permesta planes, supplied by the U.S. and flown by Philippine, Taiwanese, and American pilots were destroyed. The U.S. then moved on, and in June 1958 the central government army landed in Minahasa. The Permesta uprising ended in mid-1961. The effects of the Sumatra and Sulawesi rebellions ultimately increased what the rebels wanted to fight against. Central government authority increased while regional autonomy weakened, radical nationalism strengthened and pragmatic moderation, Communist Party power and Sukarno increased while Hatta weakened, and Sukarno finally established guided democracy in 1958. Since the 1998 reforms, the Indonesian government has begun to adopt laws that enhance regional autonomy, the main idea that Permesta fights for. Environment Climate Climate areas of North Sulawesi include tropical ones affected by muzon winds. In the months of November to April the west winds bring rain on the north coast, whereas in May to October a dry south wind changes. Uneven rainfall with annual rates ranging from 2,000 to 3,000 mm, and the number of rainy days between 90 to 139 days. Temperatures are at every level up to the height of the cool as the city area Tomohan, Langawan in Minahasa, Maduinding in Minahasa Selatan, Katamabagu, Madeag and Pasi in Bolang Mongandao district. The area that receives the most rainfall is the Minahasa area. Temperatures average 25 degrees Celsius. The average maximum air temperature was recorded at 30 degrees Celsius and the minimum average air temperature was 22.1 degrees Celsius. The air humidity was 73.4%. However, the temperature is also affected by the altitude of the place above sea level. The higher the location, the lower the temperature also, with the calculation of every 100 meters increase can lower the temperature around 0.6 degrees Celsius. Geography the province of North Sulawesi is located in the northern peninsula of Sulawesi Island and is one of three provinces in Indonesia which has geoposition, geostrategy and geopolitical advantages and is located on the Pacific Rim. The other two provinces are North Sumatra and Aceh Special Region. Viewed from geographical location, North Sulawesi is located at 0.30 to 4.30 north latitude and 121 to 127 east longitude The position of the peninsula stretches from east to west with the northernmost regions are the Sanji and Talat Islands. The archipelago is adjacent to neighboring Philippines. The area of North Sulawesi has boundaries, most of the mainland area of North Sulawesi province consists of mountains and hills interspersed by the valleys that make up the land. The mountains are located with a height above 1,000 above sea level. Some mountains in North Sulawesi are Mount Clavit 1,895 meters, in North Minahasa, Mount Lokan 1,579 meters, Mount Mahau 1,331 meters, in Tomohan, Mount Sopatan 1,789 meters, in Southeast Minahasa, Mount Dua Sodara 1,468 meters, in Biting, Mount Awu 1,784, Mount Space 1,245 meters, Mount Car 
Parangkatang, 1,320 meters, Mount Dalaj, 1,165 meters, in Sanji and Talat, Mount Ambong, 1,689 meters, Mount Gambula, 1,954 meters, and Mount Batu Balawan, 1,970 meters. The lakes in this area potentially have economic value for the development of the field of tourism, irrigation and energy. The lakes are Lake Tondano with an area of 4,278 hectares in Minahasa, Lake Moat covering 617 hectares in East Bolang Mongandao. In general, rivers are used for various purposes, among others, for irrigation as well as a source of electricity and drinking water sources. The rivers are Tondano River 40 kilometers, Poyger River 54.2 kilometers, Ranoyapa River 51.9 kilometers, Talawan River 34.8 kilometers in Minahasa. Other major rivers are located in Bolmung and Bolmut, namely Dumoga River 87.2 kilometers, Sangkub River 53.6 kilometers, Angka River 42.1 kilometers. Along the coast of North Sulawesi, both on the mainland coast and on the coast of the islands, there are several headlands Indonesian, Tanjung, and bays Indonesian, Telik. Some of the prominent headlands are Tanjung Atep, Tanjung Palisan, Tanjung Salambaring, Tanjung Kelapa in Minahasa. Tanjung Binta, Tanjung Dulang, Tanjung Flesco and Tanjung Tanango in Bolmong. While in Sanji and Talad namely Tanjung Binta, Tanjung Bararita, Tanjung Bulug, Tanjung Bunangkam, Tanjung Buwu and Tanjung Asong. The well-known bays of this region include Amuring Bay, Telik Balong, Manado Bay, Kima Bay, Minahasa and Manado, Tombolata Bay, Taluda Bay and Bolang Telan, Bolmung, Manganitu Bay, Map Bay, Mulu Bay, Dago Bay and Nalapiang Bay, Sanji and Talad. The Cape and Bay are known as places of trade and tourism. The structure of the land in North Sulawesi in the form of Latizal covering 531,000 hectares spread in several areas, among others, Tagulandang, Tamako, Manganitu, Kendehi, Tabukan Utara, Esong, Paneling, Tomohan, Tombariri, Ermadidi, Kakas, Aris, Kambi, Tariran, Pasi, Madeag, Pinaloshan and Bolang. Alluvial soil structure of 75,000 hectares spread over several regions, including the Tabukan Tenga, Liring, Lycoping, Wari, Tombasian, Tenga, New Tompaso, Balong, and Tondano. Rigosol soil structure covering 81,000 hectares spread across several areas, among others, Klabat, Dua Sodara, Sopatan, and North Biting, Demem, Ermadidi, Langawan, Tombasian, Tombatu, and Tumpan. Soil structure Andasol of 15,000 hectares, spread across several areas between, in Tomohan, Kawankoan, Tompaso, Langawan, and Maduangding. Apart from the structure of the land mentioned, others including soil types complex covering an area of approximately 76.5% of total area of North Sulawesi province so that the area was fertile for agriculture. Flora and Fauna in general, the varieties of flora and fauna in North Sulawesi are similar to those in other parts of Indonesia, except for some animals not found in other areas such as deer, malio, tayong, mini tarsia spectrum in Biting City Nature Reserve and coelacanth off the coast of Manado. This area there are no wild animals except the type of snake and crocodile that there are not many. In the sea off North Sulawesi, there are several species of fish, coral, and plankton. Several types of famous marine fish and is one source of foreign exchange, among others, tuna, skipjack, yellow tail, lobsters, and others. The condition of flora can be said that the mainland of North Sulawesi partly dominated by forest. Forest forest cover ranges from 300 meters from sea level to mountain tops with various types of good quality timber, including ebony, wooden iron wood, lingua wood, sempaka wood, wooden nantu, gopasa wood, maranti wood, there are also rattan, and various types of dammer. In addition, there are many plantation crops such as coconut, nutmeg, and cloves. Demographics North Sulawesi recorded 4,135,526 people in the decennial 2010 census, with 2,112,635 males and 2,022,890 females, growing at 1.41% over the previous census. The slowest growing regency was that of the Sanji Islands. 
In 2010, about 68% were Christian, predominantly Protestant with a sizable Catholic minority, one of the few exceptions in the predominantly Muslim Indonesia, due to the prominent Dutch missionary activity during the colonial era. Also, because the Muslim-majority region of Gorontalo, then comprising a city and two regencies, was split off to form a new province in 2000. There are also Muslim, Hindu, and Buddhist minorities. The largest ethnic groups are the Minahasan in the north of the province and the Mongandao to the south. The province's chief city is Manado with population of 701,390 people in 2014. Religion Contrary to other province of Indonesia, most of the people of North Sulawesi adheres to Christianity, the next is Islam and then Hinduism. Christianity is the majority religion in those districts and cities comprised in the islands and Minahasa sectors shown below, while Islam is the majority religion in those districts and city comprised in the Bolang Mongandao sector shown below. Most of the Christians in North Sulawesi adhere to Protestantism, while significant Roman Catholicism communities also exist in Manado and Biting. Chinese folk religions such as Confucianism and Taoism also exist, which is mostly concentrated in Manado, which has a significant Chinese population. Manado also has a significant Judaism community. Currently, the only synagogue in Indonesia is located in Manado. There are around an estimated of 800 people in Manado who adheres to Judaism. As the Indonesian government only recognizes six religions, those who adheres to Judaism can only put the officially unsanctioned religion in their ID cards. Ethnicity The Minahasan is the dominant ethnic group in the province. They are the most populous ethnic group in the Minahasa Peninsula. They mostly lived in areas covering Biting City, Manado City, Tomohan City, Minahasa Regency, North Minahasa Regency, South Minahasa Regency and Southeast Minahasa Regency. Other ethnic groups are the Bolang Mongandao, Sanji, Talat and Siao. Ethnicity in North Sulawesi is more heterogeneous than other parts of Indonesia. The Minahasan and Bolang Mongandao are spread almost throughout the region of North Sulawesi mainland. The Sanji, Talad and Siao mostly inhabit the Sanji Islands, Talad Island, and Lembe Island, especially in coastal areas north, east and west of mainland North Sulawesi. The Baju people are seafaring nomads who has migrated from the Sulu archipelago in the Philippines, due to the conflict in Mindanao. They inhabit several coastal villages of North Sulawesi in the northern part of North Minahasa Regency. In addition to the natives, North Sulawesi is also home to migrants. There are a significant Chinese population in North Sulawesi, especially around the city of Manado. The Chinese are also one of the first people to have contact with the local people before the European came. According to the discovery of Chinese ancient letters in the Tampaso area, Minahasa shows the cultural interaction between the Chinese and Minahasa have existed since the Han Dynasty. Most of the Chinese population in North Sulawesi are Hakka, while small number of Hokkien and Cantonese population also exist. Other ethnic groups such as the Javanese and the Sundanese also exist. They are mostly migrated from where they come from due to the transmigration program enacted by the Dutch during the colonial era until the Suharto era. They generally live in urban areas, such as Manado and Tomohan. Language. Indonesian is the official language of the province, as well as other parts of Indonesia. Official documents released by the provincial government as well as road signs are all written in Indonesia. However, Manado Malay is the lingua franca of the province. This language resembles Indonesian but with a distinct accent and dialect. Some of the vocabulary are derived from Dutch, Portuguese and other foreign languages. Manado Malay are often used for day-to-day -day communication between different ethnic groups. Minahasan languages are spoken by the Minahasan people. They are spread around the central and northern part of the province. In the Minahasa, five distinct languages are spoken, Tonsawing, Tontombon, Tolor, Tonsi and Tombalu. To the south, the Mongandao language and the Gorontalo language are spoken. In the islands to the north which borders the Philippines, the Visayan languages are used by the local people. Other language spoken are Javanese, Sundanese and Balinese. They are mostly spoken by immigrants coming from other parts of Indonesia. 
As Manado, has a significant Chinese population, Hakka is also spoken by some Chinese people. Some other Chinese dialect are also spoken, such as Hokkien and Cantonese. English and Mandarin are widely understood in areas where there is a large tourism industry, such as the Bunakan National Park. Older generations tend to understand Dutch and Portuguese. People who lived in islands near the borders of the Philippines may understand Tagalog. Administrative divisions North Sulawesi is divided into 11 regencies Indonesian, Kabupaten, and four independent cities Indonesian, Kodamadya, listed below with their areas and their populations at the 2010 census and according to the latest official estimate for January 2014. References External links In Indonesian Official website North Sulawesi Travel Guide from Wikivoyage